This is a quick video of a reaction rate. Reaction rate. Rate. And really all it is is usually just written as an R. And if we had maybe some species A, it would look something like that. And all it would mean is a change in the concentration of A over a change in time. Change in time. And a fancy way we can write that is DCA over DT. Those mean about the same. It's a little more math, and we can actually do a lot more with this. But for the most part, when you see this, this, this just means a change in the concentration over a change in time. So, let's say we have a system of A going to B. This is our chemical reaction. And let's say we have it in a container, a container that has a volume equal to 100, 100 cubic meters, and initially we have a, a, uh, the number of moles we have of A is equal to 100 moles. 100 moles. And let's also say, initially, the number of moles of B we have is 0. So this is at time equals 0. So initially, at the initial time, is 0. So we have, there is no chemical reaction has occurred yet. So let's find the concentration. The concentration is equal to the moles of A all over all over the volume. And initially, initially, we have a hundred, so this will actually be the initial concentration of A. So the initial concentration of A, and that's a hundred moles per, per a hundred cubic meters. So then our concentration of A, of A naught, is equal to one mole per meter cubed. So that's our concentration of A. And let's say let's say we wait a time of a time of uh, maybe a thousand seconds. So we wait a time of a thousand seconds and what we see is when we look back into the container we see we see that A has basically gone to zero. So the number of moles of A has basically gone to zero. So now we have whoops that's supposed to be mole mole. So mole has base the number of of molecules of A is basically zero inside the new inside this container. And also we notice that the number of B molecules or the moles of B is now equal to a hundred moles. A hundred moles of B. So let's just round that or we'll keep it like that. So now what's the chemical reaction rate? So R I guess I can do this down here. R is equal to the change in the concentration over the change in time. Change in time. So we're going to do a species A. So now what's the concentration of A now? Well that's just the number of moles of A, the mo moles of A divided by the volume, and that's just basically equal to zero. So what we get, we have zero minus a hundred moles per meter cubed, all divided by a thousand seconds. A thousand seconds. That's supposed to be a second. So that is equal to that is equal to a negative 0 0.1 moles per second meter cubed. So that's the reaction rate of A. And the reaction rate of B, well, B is being generated as A is being depleted, so that must equal the negative of A. So negative R of A. Because A is being depleted and B is being generated. So that's equal to a negative negative. Well that's just say positive positive 0 0.1 moles of A per second meter cubed. Meter cubed. 